links to On Point Organic Soap Wine to see more recipes. You will need in the following recipe for the mini purple sweet potato pie cups. Purple yams or purple sweet potatoes. An approximate four medium size. You will also need your spices that you desire. Cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. You will need coconut milk or coconut cream. You will also need a sweetener of your choice, so maple syrup or date or coconut sugar. You will need dates, you will need pecans, you will also need Himalayan salt and coconut oil. You will need a type of mixer or processor to bring all the ingredients together. And for the icing, the topping, you will need icing sugar that is vegan. You will also need vanilla bean or vanilla extract and the coconut milk or the coconut cream to bring everything together. This takes an approximate two and a half hours or so to bake and prep and you will need to bake this at 400 degrees if your oven is slow. If your oven is fast then 350 degrees. Prior to baking you need to wash your potatoes or yams and then score them with a fork so that the steam can penetrate them and cook them faster. You are to bake them for an approximate 45 minutes at 350 degrees and you can do it at 400 degrees for 45 minutes if your oven is fast. After an approximate 45 minutes to 60 minutes of baking your sweet potatoes or yams, you are to carefully remove them from the oven and scoop out the interior of the potatoes and put them into a bowl and get your spices together so that you can combine everything. Remember, your spices are your cinnamon, your nutmeg, your pumpkin spice, your allspice, whatever you prefer. You're also at this point getting ready to prepare either your coconut milk or your coconut cream or your hemp milk, whichever milk you desire, so that you can combine everything together along with the sweetener of your choice, whether it's maple syrup, maple cream, cocoa sugar, coconut sugar. Okay, so don't get nervous. If you do not have certain things in your kitchen, if you do not have a certain type of processor, hand mixer, whatever it is, you can always improvise. That's what I had to do. So I was not able to record this part on camera. What I was able to do was put everything together and um, insert a few photos here and there so that you can understand what I mean about the different um, mixers or processors that you can use. And this is where, again, we would be putting the, um, the milk and the spices and everything together in this processor and mixer for a while until it's smooth and to get all the ingredients together. Now we're at the point where we need to create the base crust because the prior segment was the mixture for the pie, so the center focus of the dessert. So now with the base crust, you are focusing on combining the um, pecans, the dates, and Himalayan salt, as well as the coconut oil. In this recipe, I had to improvise because I was not able to get the dates as they were. I was only able to find um, a combination of like a cocoa, cocoa and date and pecan all rolled up together. So it's very tasty actually and it worked out and I was able to combine all of these ingredients together to form the base crust for the pie cup. And this is where we have combined these ingredients together for the base crust. This is what we're now going to put in the bottom of the mold and in the next segment you're going to see 
putting the top mixture of the yams that has all of the spices and the coconut milk and everything combined. So this part is very easy after you process everything together in the next segment, as you're going to see, that's going to be the base. Now we are at the part where we've placed the foundation into the mold. We ensured that as we are placing the dates, cocoa, pecan um, mixture in the bottom of the mold, that we kind of made sure that it um, gathered up on the sides as well, so that when we place the purple yam mixture, that it will fill up within the center of the mold. So this is where you're getting ready after you've placed the sweet potato yam mixture above the date pecan base, you're going to set that into the mold to go into the oven at approximate 350 degrees for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You need to be observant because everyone's oven is different. So if your oven cooks, bakes things faster than normal, then you know to keep a watchful eye so that of the base or that the whole thing doesn't burn. And in the next segment, we're going to see what it looks like once it comes out of the oven. Now that our mini purple sweet potato pie cups have come out of the oven, you are to be careful and allow them to cool for about two hours before putting them into the fridge so that the mold can keep. What I ended up doing was waiting overnight and the next day I took them out of the mold and placed the icing all over them on a plate, left them in the refrigerator on the plate so that everything could set before putting the pie cups in a container to share and serve for later. So in the next segment, we're after we combine vegan icing sugar and coconut cream with vanilla bean or vanilla extract, we mix together and pour into a clean bag so that we can use it to distribute the icing atop the mini pie. I know I did not provide measurements, as I am used to gauging things visually and intuitively. I welcome you to improvise and have fun. Make this your own. And did you all notice that there is no flour, no animal product, no dairy, no eggs? This is a guilt-free plant-based dessert. Purple sweet potatoes or purple yams are a good source of potassium, fiber, high in B6, vitamin C, and antioxidants. Here are some tips for the icing. Remember to not put the icing on top of all of the pie cups unless you are ready to serve and eat them. It is best to keep these pie cups in the freezer instead of the fridge, but that also depends on how you like to eat your desserts. If you want the topping to be thicker, you can add arrowroot or tapioca or guar gum powder and also thicken it up with more of the icing sugar. It just depends on the balance that you are looking for. This dessert has a combination of sweet and salty as well as aromatic. So you have to decide what are the balances that you're looking for between the different flavors. Empaths, I'm sharing this recipe with you all because as you know, everything we consume has a direct effect on our moods and our energy. And it is important that you know how to create tasty things that will uplift you instead of depleting you. What I love the most about purple sweet potatoes or purple yams is they are very charming, sweet and aromatic, almost floral like rose petals. And they fill you up in a way that is unlike anything I've ever tasted before. So enjoy 
and embrace your nature. It has the roots to heal you.